If you wanna make your home look beautiful on a budget, you're gonna love these DIY thrift flips. Hey there, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com. Upcycling home decor items from the thrift store is such a fantastic way to make your home look cozy, beautiful when you're on a lower budget. Another thing I love about upcycling thrift store finds is that you're going to create some incredibly unique decor that nobody else has and I love that idea. Today I am sharing my favorite DIY decor thrift flips of all time. I adore each and every one of these and I think you will too. Let's get started. We all know these classic 1970s furniture pieces. This one is a nightstand from my local thrift store. It was only $20. I wanna give it a French country makeover. To begin, I'm removing the hardware and then using Crud Cutter Gloss Off to remove any of the gloss. I'm gonna use a chalk style paint product to paint this, so just removing the gloss is the perfect prep. Next, I'm taking a sanding sponge and sanding off the gloss on the very top of this piece. I wanna give this a raw wood look. I'm taping off the top of this piece because I'm gonna be using a spray paint product. If you're just using a roll-on or a brush-on, you don't have to do this part. Next, I'm taking some primer, painting it all over the piece, and then spray painting the original hardware with this oil rubbed bronze color to give it a more updated look. I'm also priming the drawers and the hardware left on the drawers as well. Now I'm taking this Rust-Oleum chalk style paint in this French provincial blue and painting the whole dresser just like this. I love this color and it definitely has those French country vibes that I'm looking for for this piece. Now I'm taking another piece of sandpaper and sanding down just the edges and the little hardware plates on the drawers to give it more of a vintage French country look. I'm loving how this distressing is looking on all of these details and really making everything pop. I'm also distressing the trim around the bottom of the piece and the top. Now I'm removing the painter's tape from the top and I love how this natural wood is contrasting to the dresser. I'm taking this carbon gray color wood stain and I'm staining the top of the dresser to give it a little bit more of a rustic look. I'm also using the same wood stain right on top of the paint on the bottom of the dresser and then wiping that off. That's going to cling to all those distressed bits that I sanded off in the first place and give it more depth. I'm finishing it off with a Varathane polycrylic coat to make sure that this piece lasts. I'm finishing everything off by attaching the hardware and I love how painting it gives it a more updated look. So here's how this nightstand looked before and here's how my thrift flip turned out. I adore this vintage French country look and for $20 plus some paint I had on hand, this is a great way to update a piece on a budget. Thrift stores often have these globe-shaped vases, and I found a couple at my local Value Village for $4 and $2. These can make fantastic little terrariums. I'm using pebbles from the dollar store and placing them in each of these vases. I'm filling them up about two-thirds of the way full, and now I'm taking some faux succulents. I found these ones off of Amazon, but you can also find these ones at the thrift store and at the dollar store too. I'm just placing them inside of the vases and just kind of tucking them into those pebbles. What makes these look best, in my opinion, is really using a variety of shapes, colors, and lengths of succulents. I love the hanging ones in here just to give them a beautiful variety of shapes and looks. Now that my vases are full, you can use them just like this. So put them on a side table, on a mantle, use them in shelf styling, or you can make a hanger or buy a macrame hanger for these two. So my local dollar store, the Dollarama, has these macrame hangers for $3. You could just use this, pop the terrarium inside and hang it, 
or you could DIY your own macrame hanger from some cotton cord. If you're interested in the DIY version of the hanger, I will leave a link to that full tutorial down in the description box below. So here's the original vases from the thrift store and here is the upcycled terrariums. These are such a fun DIY, they'd also be fun to do with kids and they're a beautiful addition to your home decor. The thrift store always has tons of books. You can remove the jackets from the books and paint them with chalk style paint. So I'm just using some white color chalk style paint and coating one of my books with them to give it a nice cohesive look and covering the spine of one as well, but I did like this golden yellow color. Now I'm taking some painter's tape and just placing it between the yellow and the white to give a nice crisp edge. The thrift store always has some vintage doilies too. So I grabbed a couple of those. I'm taking some Mod Podge, placing it on my book, and then just pressing that vintage thrifted doily right into the Mod Podge. I'm placing some more Mod Podge on the spine of the book and the other side as well, and then pulling and pressing that doily up and around the book. Just don't get enough of me. Said I'm gonna win. Catch you down on me. Just don't get enough of me. Said I'm gonna win. Now that the doily is all dry, I'm taking another layer of Mod Podge and brushing that over the entire thing. This seals the doily onto the book and makes everything nice and long lasting. I'm just using a foam brush and some regular matte Mod Podge. You can make a few of these books with different colors of book jackets, different colors of chalk style paint, even different colors of doilies. And then you can make a cute little book stack with three of them, tie them with a beautiful ribbon and use them as shelf styling accents, mantle accents, or a side table decor accent. Here's another dresser thrift flip. This is your classic 1980s pine dresser. You can find these at thrift stores. You can find these at Habitat for Humanity Restores all the time. I'm just hammering off that bottom piece and then I'm using this saw to cut off the sides too. I wanna turn this into a more modern coastal look dresser. I'm using this country chic chalk style paint in a beautiful navy blue color called Peacoat. Now I'm just using a paintbrush and painting that color all over the dresser. When using chalk style paint, you usually don't have to do a ton of prep. In this case, I just cleaned this whole dresser really well with some degreasing cleaner. I'm also painting the drawers in the same color as well. And then my little helper, my daughter, is painting with me too. Once everything is dry, I'm taking these really nice modern brass legs. I found them on Amazon. I will link them below using some PL construction glue and using some pilot holes and screws. I'm just mounting these to the bottom of the dresser. Now I'm taking these modern brushed gold handles. I think I found these off of Amazon as well, and I'm attaching them to the front of all of the drawers. I did fill the original holes in these drawers with some wood filler, sanded them down, and I'm making new holes for this new hardware with my drill. Now that everything is done, I'm placing the drawers black. I'm placing the drawers back in this dresser, giving it a little dusting, and it's all done. So here's how this dresser looked before. And with some chalk paint and some new hardware, here's the modern coastal look now. 
We ended up using this dresser for the bunk room in our lake house rental, and I think it matches perfectly with the decor. Now we're gonna do a two for one thrift flip. Lots of thrift stores and habitat stores have these old wooden stools. So I'm gonna create two modern stools from this one. So I'm cutting off the legs just here, right above that bottom rung on the stool. You can use a handsaw or you can use a power saw for this. Then I'm taking my sander and sanding those legs down to make sure they're flat and they're smooth. Now I'm removing the old upholstery on the top of this stool. The foam is actually in pretty good condition inside, so I'm gonna keep that. Now I'm mixing one part white latex paint to one part water, brushing that over the base of the stool. Then I'm taking some paper towel and wiping that off to give that bottom stool a beautiful whitewashed look. I had this beautiful faux fur on hand. I bought it at fabric.com. I will leave a link for it in the description box below. I'm just placing my stool top on top, tracing out the circle, and then adding a couple inches, drawing a new circle, and cutting that out. When you're cutting faux fur fabric, just take your scissors and slip them through just the backing of the fabric so you don't cut that fur to give it a really beautiful look. Now I'm placing my old foam on the back of this fabric, placing that stool on top, and then I'm just using the stapler to staple the fur around the stool. When upholstering thrifted pieces, you wanna pull that fabric nice and tight, add as many staples as you can to give it a nice professional look. And now I have this adorable little footstool from that thrifted stool. This is fantastic to put your feet up, to put your coffee on, and I love how it has sort of a Scandinavian look. All right, but we're not done. We're gonna use that bottom piece of the stool that we cut off for a second DIY decor item. So here's that piece. I'm just using my sander once again to sand down the cut off pieces. And then I'm also sanding all of the rest of this stool as well to give it more of a worn, more of a modern look. I don't want this to look glossy at all. So I want it to have more of a natural feel by sanding all of that gloss off. Next, I'm wiping it down and I'm using some leftover cotton macrame cord, just tying it around one end of this piece of the stool, just using a square knot, and then I'm wrapping this macrame cord around the stool just like this. Now that I'm nearing the end of the stool, I'm going to trim that cord and then tie it really tightly onto one side of the stool. When I'm finished tying my knot, I'm just taking the end of the string and tucking it into the rest of the string. I'm doing the same thing with my first piece of string. And now I have this very modern organic looking footstool that I can use in my living room. So I use this as a footstool by the chair and I've also used this as a plant stand and it works so well. I love this minimal modern organic look and I love that I was able to create two stools from one. Thanks so much for watching today's thrift flip video. Let me know down in the comments below which of these flips was your absolute favorite and why. I would love to know. I'm gonna leave some more budget-friendly decor videos right up here for you to watch next.